Welcome back. Now, it comes around just about once every five years, not the Olympics we're talking about, but we're two sleeps away from census night. Yay. Woohoo! Yeah. And there is yeah. plenty of controversy <laughs> this time around. Joining us for the Sunday Jury is Shelley Horton from Shell Shocked Media. Good morning Hi. to you. And the Daily Mail's journalist, Frank Coletto. Hey, guys. Good morning. morning. Good morning. morning. So what do you reckon? Are you worried about the privacy concerns? Absolutely not. I mean, the whole point of the census is to get information mm. for our country to better plan. So roads, schools, very important things. I think all these whingers who are saying it's, a, it's an invasion of my privacy, what are they hiding? Mm. What are they so worried about? Uh, do they not want good roads around their house? Shelley, you're a plant by the ABS here this no, morning. No, 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 no. Are you serious? 100% serious. Okay, let's start with the fact that there's triple handling on this thing. Okay, you've got census, you've got, I think it's IBM that's handling it as well, and the ABS obviously is going to handle all the information and keep it for four years. So there's three steps there where there's going to be a fall down, and a lot of it's going to be online. We've been pushed online, you can't get the hard copies. Mm. Uh, there's, yeah, there's a line, waiting. absolutely. Uh, <laughs> there's been oh a meltdown, God. people trying to get it. So that's your first problem. And you can't tell it's me... It's not a problem. It's a IBM massive issue. IBM just came out it and is. said that it is all completely... Two words for you. Australia card. This is mm. the sort of no. thing that they tried to introduce 20 years ago and couldn't simply because of that reason. So, yes, I get the whole concept of having hospitals and schools in the right place. But you don't need to keep our names to do that. Yeah, because mm. that's what... Initially, you didn't mm. need to put your name to it. It was just simply mm. statistics. Why do they need Correct. names? And here's the other issue that I've got with it as well. Aside from all the good things that it will do, it will open up this issue where the left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing. I'll tell you this. Over the past week, as media organisations have tried to find out whether or not the names would be included, one side was saying no. Yeah. A day later, they said yes. So if the guys handling the information aren't really sure, how can we be certain? I agree that there has been some back and forth about the names, but I just go, what's the actual issue here? So they, they have your name and where yeah. you live. Like, really, what's, what, is, what are you so worried about? If the people managing it don't know the rules then we have no idea as to what's going to happen with it. So are you going to do a fake name? or are you, what, are, what is your plan? I can't say that here. Oh, really? You can get big funds, <laughs> though, if you do. Yeah, $1,800. $1, and $180 a day, a day. if you're late. Mm, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. This is Big Brother cracking you in the middle of the head. But, Frank, you use social media. Yes. You're on the, the online digital world. Yeah. The stuff that we post on Facebook, the stuff yeah. that we play, mm. say where we're going on holidays, what we've eaten, it's a where we step. live, that's all you, out there. You choose to do that. If you want to, that's fine. Okay. But if you don't want to, you should have that choice. It's called what about... a funny thing. It's called a democracy. <laughs> yeah, but what about a community? And what about the fact that we are a nation and you... we need to look after our nation? What about so that? So you can do that without holding on to our private information. You guys are fine, aren't you? Oh man, this is like a, it's just a start. It's, it's like a it's tennis like, match. I know you and I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Can I be fair? All right. Oh, he's really <laughs> Let's move it on. Uh, Renee Zellweger has had a uh, has written an article in the Huffington Post last out at her critics saying people can do better than gossiping about her face. She got a point, Shelley? Yeah, I really think she does. I love, actually, this article was very well written. She's thought about this. She's had more than 16 years of being criticised as has she had eye surgery, has she not, has she had too many fillers. I actually don't care if, if women do or don't, but it's affecting her and she's saying it's no longer sticks and stones don't break my bones mm. and words will never hurt me. Words do hurt and words are making an impact. And she's saying it's time to stop. She's tried to be dignified and silent for a long time and I think that it is true that we need to stop this 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 conversation. What do you reckon mm. Frank? So on that part she lives in the the visual age mm. uh, world that uh, obviously she wants people to watch her in her movies. Which part is of the great. deal. Absolutely mm. it comes with the celebrity and this is not new I think there was a little bit of a dig and she uh, took the opportunity to do it via the Huffington Post. The media organisations are not focusing on the social game changes, the, the real news stories out there. Well, that's not exactly mm -hmm. true. And the other thing is what hasn't changed, apart from the fact that she lives in that, uh, that visual medium where you go back 50 years and the Mon Marilyn Munros and all those sorts of guys, they, they obviously dealt with it as well and mm. embraced it. Well, the other thing that hasn't changed is that news and media organisations need to get you, the, the reader, clicking or, or turning the page or reading the headline yeah. mm. and then reading for yourself what the real story is. So Click bait. Get a clickbait. Well, you know, yeah, that's the digital, that. that's the online world that and we live in now, the digital media side, but it's nothing uh, less than the headlines that mm. used to be written yeah. to get people to buy the paper. And you know what, I think paper. 
the people most at fault here are women. They're the ones who are clicking on, they're the ones right. who are reading, and, reading and, this stuff. and getting those really trashy magazines. All so right. it's time for us to stop. All right, more controversy to come after this. What do you reckon? Was this the highlight of the opening ceremony? He's from Brisbane, actually. There's baby oil there. Yeah, we'll uh, take a closer look at that one after the break. The Rio Olympics were officially opened yesterday, so let's talk highlights of the ceremony. Everyone was talking about the Tongan flag bearer, Aussie born Peter Tufa Tafua. Shelley, what do you reckon? You know oh, what? A lot of baby oil going on there, isn't <laughs> Way it? Way too much baby oil. I mean, I think if he was about to compete in the slip and slide, he would yeah. absolutely nail He'd it. He'd fly along those things. Um, look, if that was a woman, I would be up in arms saying she's being objectified. So I'm actually not going to go, this is amazing. I think... Um, he's, he's loving, loving it. it. He's, he's having a ball. Oh, he's got he's a great rig it. on him. His social media numbers have doubled. If I looked like that, well... You know, he's well, gonna, in he's the gonna equivalent gonna terms, I'd be baby story. oiled up. And he's paying him. homage to the national dress. There were some people who actually came out and said he's being too much of the exhibitionist. Oh, yeah. come, come on. on. It's oh, real. It's the Olympics. Yeah. Get on And also, if you're the flag bearer, you're supposed to be. Yeah. 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 Here's quickly exactly. the question. The Australian team couldn't get the boxing kangaroo in. How did he get that big bottle of baby oil? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, what about Giselle? She yeah, did the, the best catwalk Brazil in history, right? played to their strength. Yes. Well done. You know, we did that with Elle McPherson back in 2000, and they've gone, who we got? Oh, Giselle. Giselle. Let, her, let her walk for 500 metres. Yeah. She was great, yeah. actually. That was <laughs> Seriously, excellent. best walk of her life. Yeah. And that's why she is a supermodel. Mm. I think she was amazing. Yeah. But it was very long. Mm. The, the catwalk. Very walk. long. Yeah, like, well. Whew, that was an Olympic sport. <laughs> She's got in long itself. legs to yeah. walk it, too. Yeah. Frank, Shelley, thank you. It's Thanks. Been a Thanks, we'll guys. play tennis next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Back with more <laughs> <Come on>. <laughs> Yeah.